Hi, my name is Alexei. I work on Azure Cosmos DB team at Microsoft. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to migrate existing MongoDB applications to Cosmos DB with MongoDB API. First, we will talk about how Cosmos DB is different from MongoDB. Then I will show you how to create and configure Cosmos DB account with MongoDB API. After that, we can uh, uh, connect to it from familiar MongoDB tools and uh, look at some code examples and come back to Azure portal where the results of the code execution and the metrics of the execution can be seen. And finally, I will point you to some valuable resources about Azure Cosmos DB. So how does Cosmos DB compare to MongoDB? Just like MongoDB, it is an OSQL database that stores data in documents with dynamic schema, provides flexible way to read the data with multiple languages and platforms, and it also has automatic replication, built-in mechanisms for scale out, and is easy to use. But that's where the similarities end. Many other things are either not included in MongoDB or harder to do for developers and require additional skills. For example, Cosmos DB, even when used through MongoDB API, provides such things as automatic sharding, even though you can still maintain control over it with custom shard key, automatic indexing of every single field in documents, eliminating the need for creating the indexes other than unique ones, cross-region global replication, backups by default, encryption at rest by default, not to mention ability to integrate with many Azure services, such as Azure Search for robust full-text search over your documents, as well as Azure Portal with every single configuration metric and management instruments in one place. There are some things to keep in mind, though. Even though Cosmos DB implements MongoDB Wire protocol and as such can take advantage of existing tools, there are still differences as this is different implementation. But majority of code will work without any changes other than the connection string. Now, let's jump right into Cosmos DB experience. All right, uh, so this is Azure portal. And what you can see here on the left-hand side is Azure Cosmos DB. When you click on this and press the Add button, you can actually add new MongoDB API account. All you need to do to select it is through this API dropdown, select MongoDB. And you have to type in the ID and choose the subscription resource group. Since I already have one, I'm just going to uh, simply use that instead. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is my uh, MongoDB API account with a bunch of collections. I have data in two different regions. Uh, I have some monitoring metrics here on the bottom. Um, what, uh, what I want to do right now, however, is to show you how to uh, leverage uh, MongoDB connection string. Um, before I do that, however, let me show you how the actual uh, collections look like within Azure portal. So this is um, a set of databases and collections underneath them. Uh, for example, users collections with a bunch of documents. As you can see, the documents themselves are represented just like they are represented in MongoDB, that is in JSON format. Uh, you can also use some commands right here in the Mongo shell uh, that we have built in. Uh, and you can write different Mongo queries here with calculation of how much uh, resources, how many uh, request units it will take to execute them. Uh, you have some scaling settings right here for every collection uh, for, in, uh, for number of RUs uh, that you have provisioned for each collection. Uh, what we're going to do right now, however, is to copy the connection string. As you can see, this is represented in exact same format as it would be in regular MongoDB. Um, you can copy it and take it to the tool of your choice. In this case, I'm going to start using Mongo Shell. Uh, all you need to do is to simply paste this connection string into it, and here it is. I'm connected to uh, Cosmos DB. The same thing I can do with other tools. For example, Studio 3T for MongoDB, very popular tool among MongoDB developers yet it has absolutely no knowledge of Cosmos DB. But uh, for me, it is as easy to uh, connect it to Cosmos DB through the Connection Manager. In Connection Manager, I press the new connection, press a click uh, from URI button, paste the connection string, press save, and boom, I'm connected. 
to Cosmos DB. I can see the same exact databases and collections right here. Right? I can execute very simple queries and some sophisticated queries as well. The aggregation pipeline is supported. So how do you actually use this in the code? I have Visual Studio here with my C-sharp code. And uh, I'm using, as you can see, official MongoDB.NET driver here. Um, I have uh, some connection credentials uh, for my local host. Uh, this is a very simple application. It simply uh, allows me to view the set of tasks and uh, create new tasks in it, right? So all I'm doing here is using Mongo client. I'm getting the database, uh, I'm getting the collection, uh, and also I'm going to use insert one command on that uh, collection to add the new tasks. So let's execute it and see how it looks. All it's doing now is essentially creating the database uh, because it wasn't there, uh, creating the collection, uh, empty collection, and allows me to um, choose some uh, attributes for that new task that I'm adding. So let's say I'm going to uh, create a new task here. Here it is, shows up in the list. Uh, so what does it take for me to actually migrate this application to Cosmos DB? I will simply need to change the credentials. So same exact credentials I would have in my uh, connection string, I simply have to specify them separately for the purposes of use within my C-sharp code. Uh, but the, those credentials are exactly the same. We change the port and we also specify the uh, need for SSL here as well, since every interaction with Cosmos DB is actually going through secure uh, channel. Let's execute it as well. We will actually see the same exact picture, same exact screen, uh, my local IIS running, um, and uh, again, all it does now is uh, going to Cosmos DB, uh, creates new database and collection and allows me to uh, create a new task. Here it is. Uh, just like that, it was created uh, in Cosmos DB, just to make sure that uh, the record is there. If we go to uh, collections and refresh right now, we will actually see another database that showed up with collection called task list with the documents and here's our task in JSON format. Great, so what do we want to utilize aggregation pipeline? It's just as easy. Uh, here's uh, uh, the application that uh, I have in uh, Node.js using uh, MongoDB Node.js driver. Uh, it is currently configured to connect to localhost, that is my MongoDB instance. Uh, it is doing uh, a lookup, which is essentially a left outer join between orders collection and inventory collection. Um, we can execute this. And here it is. Uh, two Collection, collections have been merged. And uh, all I need to do, again, in order to um, migrate this application to Cosmos DB is to switch to my connection string that I've copied from the portal previously. I will uh, clear the screen again and execute it. And here it is, just as fast, the same exact data shows up here. Okay, uh, now if we go to the portal, I can see some of the results of the execution in the metrics tab of the monitoring section. Uh, so we have uh, different levels of granularity for this data here. You can look at throughput, storage, availability, latency, and consistency. And uh, uh, specifically for the purposes of uh, this particular demo, I will show you the 24-hour snapshot of the data um, here, the different metrics. For example, here's the number of requests that uh, I have been running on my account, and uh, here's average consumed RU per second. You can't even see it because it's close to zero, uh, but we, we do see some spikes in the request charge. So this is much uh, finer uh, level of granularity for this metric. Now that you've seen how easy it is to migrate your existing MongoDB application to Cosmos DB, we can take a, take a look at the resources. Here you see the links to the time-limited but full fidelity trial of Cosmos DB, the guide to MongoDB data migration to Cosmos DB with links to data migration tools, both our data migration tool and Mongo Restore Mongo import tools. 
the quick start uh, for MongoDB API with the code that I have just been running, and Azure user voice page where you can vote for features you would like to see in Cosmos DB MongoDB API. Thank you for watching.